Hi, welcome to Race Louver. So recently we had the opportunity to take a car to the wind tunnel and not only do louver testing, we also had the opportunity to test carbon fiber extractor hood and also full exit ducting from the radiator to the hood. So we can get an idea of how well uh, extractor hoods work or don't work and also the effects of sealing the radiator to the hood with ducting. So let's take a look. Now just a quick note, uh, you see the, both of these hoods, the carbon fiber extractor hood on the left and then the sock hood with the race louvers on the right. Both of those hoods were ran with no exit ducting, meaning the back of the radiator was open to the engine bay like most traditional track cars are. Then when we move on to the exit ducting, uh, we have a stock hood with holes that match up with uh, ducting that connects the radiator to the hood. Okay, so we're going to break this video into two parts. Part one is going to be pure back-to-back -back data, and then part two is we're going to do a little extrapolation um, on how to improve um, one and the other. Okay, so here's the radiator differential pressures. The, um, if you notice the race louvers uh, have a good increase, the extractor hood uh, just a little bit, and that the exit ducting actually suffers in cooling department. Um, something we haven't shown before, but if we look at this chart, we actually are displaying the front pressure of the radiator, the pressure at the back of the radiator, and then also the differential. So you could see on the stock hood, race louver hood and extractor hood, the um, pressure behind the radiator is actually negative or, or lower pressure. Um, and if we take a look at the exit ducting, the pressure at the backside of the radiator is actually a positive pressure, and that's 
due to the enclosure that isolates the back of the air from the engine bay. So that's kind of interesting. So here we got the uh, front downforce. And uh, if we look at the race louvers, um, there's a lot of downforce. The um, extractor hood, not very much. I thought that would have been a little better. Um, and then the exit ducting has a pretty good um, amount of downforce to it. Okay, so here's our drag. And if we look at the race louvers, uh, there is a slight drag increase. Um, and the carbon fiber extractor hood uh, is kind of near zero drag there. And the exit ducting actually has a slight reduction in drag. So that's kind of interesting. All right, here we um, add some grill tape to the race louvers, try to get the drag down, the downforce up. And then also the exit ducting, we added some wickers to improve the cooling. And we'll see how that turns out. All right, so here's the uh, front downforce. The, um, the three in the middle are original runs or raw data back-to-backs. And then on the far left is um, how the downforce changes with some grill tape on the race louvers. And then on the far right, we add two size wickers or we add one size wicker and extrapolate a larger wicker to um, see how that affects um, primarily cooling, but we can see the change here in downforce. Okay, here's our radiator differential pressure or uh, cooling airflow increase. And um, same three in the middle uh, from raw back-to-back -back data. And um, on the left is the race louvers um, reduction in cooling from the grill tape. And on the right, the uh, wickers, the two wickers that were added or a small one added and one extrapolated that will uh, increase the cooling for the uh, exit ducting. And then finally, here's our drag chart. Um, the three in the middle are, again, our original three raw datas. Far left is the drag. So obviously the grill tape on the race louvers gets the drag down. And then on the far right is uh, the wickers on the exit ducting. As we add wickers or make the wickers larger, it increases drag. All right, there you go, part two. So we added some grill tape to the race louvers and the goal was to get the drag down and the drag went down near zero the um, cooling also went down but the downforce went up uh, the extractor hood we didn't do anything with that we're kind of using that as our middle guy um, the full exit ducting since it suffered in the cooling department we added two size wickers to get the cooling up and and, and the cooling did increase but the drag also increased um, the downforce did increase too, but not quite as much as the race louver hood. So, so there you have that. Um, so we have all of this in a PDF document. It's, um, it's attached to, to this at the bottom, or it's on our website if you want to look through it. Uh, all the data is there, charts, pictures, car setup, all that fun stuff. You can look at it forever and ever and ever. Um, so I think I think there's two perspect three perspectives from this. Uh, if you got a car that needs cooling and you're just looking for, for, for cooling, then I think part one shows um, you know the cooling gains and losses from the various um, setups. And then part two, uh, we um, did wickers and grill tape to get the uh, cooling and the drag very similar. And then we saw how the downforce was affected. So if you're looking for downforce, um, part two pretty much shows a good thing there. And then also what was important, which I think everybody knows, um, the more or less air that goes through the radiators and stuff uh, equal drag and cooling. So if you need more air, there's going to be more drag. If you tape it up because you don't need the air, there's going to be less drag. That's just inevitable. So um, there you have it. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.